Hey guys, Friendly Toad here, and I decided to make a Let's Play series for my favorite game, Ashram's Call. And I'm going to play with a, a little bit of a twist, so I have a, a couple rules I'm going to follow and to make the game feel a lot like it was uh, back in the day when I first started playing. So I'm playing on my own server, and uh, yeah, once I make my guy, I'll let you know some of the rules that I'm following and come, some of the edits I made on the server. So uh, let's do show, and I'm gonna go 100 cord strength quick, and make a two hand guy. Okay, so let's do two handed melee defense. Can't forget that. And so I'm gonna spec melee or melee depends on how you say it. Melee melee two hand and arcane lore. I like arcane lore because I, I really like to. Um, search for different armor and get the buffs and stuff. I find it's fun. And if I die, then I don't have to rebuff or anything. Save some credits on uh, magics. Definitely take item magic. And maybe healing. Where's healing? There we go. So I'm going to kind of focus on using armors to armor to buff and use my item magic and then hopefully get creature in life as I level up. Can't forget mana mana conversion. Okay, let's be male. It's got this uh, Faber Drive kind of look going on. This guy looks like uh, Brock from Pokemon. You know what? Let's go with him. I kind of like the spiky hair. And uh, I like to start in Holtberg. It's a good town. Friendly Toad. Okay, I gotta do my stuff when I create a new character. I usually slash load UI. And I like to do side by side vials and always daylight outdoors. I always do it on every character I make. Okay, we got five health, we gotta fix that. Okay, so. The rules I'm going to follow are I'm going to play um, I'm not going to use any I'm not going to use the town network. I'm not going to use the facility hub quests or even use the facility hub to get around. I'm going to uh, only use um, like t uh, gems, like portal gems from vendors and uh, you know portal devices to get around. I'm not going to do any of the quick traveling. So I'm gonna to try to run most places and use the portal gems, and you know I'll probably cut scene and speed up the, those traveling times just because it might be boring. But I find that that way I can see more of the world and it's, um, you know you discover all different kinds of places when you're doing it like that. I'm gonna use no buff bots, and I'm not gonna macro, and I'm sure I'll probably come up with a couple different. Uh, rules as I'm going, but I might use the old subway as a way to get around from artwork. Um, but other than that, it's just us and our two-handed weapon. We're gonna have to buff ourselves. We're gonna have to, you know, just make it happen. So I'm not uh, probably gonna talk, you know, constantly like you know some of those guys that do a let's play every two seconds, just saying something. That's just exhausting. But you know, I got a couple custom stuff on my server. Like I got this guy that's a buff bot. Portal Ashron's called Castle here, but I'm not going to use him. I'm uh, fending for myself. It's it's like it's 1999. Okay, so let's let's start out. Let's get this going. Get some levels. So here is my other character. Um, I'm not going. The only help I'm going to get from him is he's my tinkerer and alchemist and cook and a cooker. So he'll just do that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to get buffs or anything from him. So. But I'm gonna swear to him so I can get uh, pass up some of that experience. Right now he's only level 56. Oh, I gotta switch over. There we go. Okay. And don't need this. Get rid of that. We're not using the facility hub. Okay, let's get the starter gear from this dude. So 
So this is probably going to be a long series. Um, you know, I'm just going to keep going until I get bored, but I'm hoping I can hit 275. That's my goal. And it's going to be a lot faster than it is on other servers because um, a couple changes I've made to my server are I have a three times experience. So we'll be leveling quickly with the three times experience. I find it's a good balance when I'm not macroing and I'm not um, like I'm buffing myself and I'm doing like I'm running around. To shave off a lot of that extra grind time, I think three times experience is the perfect balance between having fun and not just like grinding endless hours in dungeons because, you know, let's face it, we're all not 15 anymore, so don't have all the time in the world to do that. Let's give this guy this robe. We don't need it. Got a. Come on, give me a. Give me salvage. Yeah. All right. Uh, another change I made was I removed rent. So, you know, if I don't play for a couple of weeks, I don't have to worry about losing my house. Um, I took away um, v uh, Vitae. So, if I die, I don't get any Vitae or Vitae or however you say it. And also remove the mansion minimum rank because you know playing by myself, um, you know it's, it's impossible to get enough followers to get a mansion. So you know maybe one day I'd like to get one. So remove the rank for that, and um, I also increased um, the chance of dropping uh, miners, majors, epics, and legendary items by uh, times two. So yeah, just a couple you know quality of life changes. You know playing by myself here. And doing it the hardcore way, um, I figure you know that way I can get ahead without s sacrificing too much of my personal lifetime to you know put together armor sets and just have fun, right? This this series I'm planning on having fun and not worrying too much about um, stressing about you know anything. So there's a quest in here where we can get a couple items, cash in, my health, there we go. It's always hard when you start uh, with an extreme template like this with like pretty much no endurance. Oh shoot. Let's get that health back up. So by playing it this way, I think it's really fun because I can really focus on, um, you know, looting monsters, getting different items, building my character up, and actually like needing the shit I find. Okay, let's get mana conversion quickly here. See, like I'm already level ten. If without the three times experience, I'd be grinding away. Oh god, these guys are raping me. That guy tossing darts. Man, I hit that guy from so far away. Alright, let's grab this. And to get to uh, Red Spire and um, the island over here, because I'm not using the town network. I think the only way I can get there is some stone hold, and I believe there's a portal there. Nothing useful. Yeah, you know, I'm probably not even gonna bother looting these guys because they're just such low level. You don't really. I'm not gonna find much that's useful. Oh god, they're coming in! I'm in the thick of it! So I really want to focus on um, just finding fun quests to do and uh, you know, going through that and doing it together, you know, I'm hoping to get the Focus Stone, some Atlan weapons, all that kind of jazz. 
Okay, so right now we're just getting these bags of bag of wheat seed. We can cash this in for just a small amount of experience. It's nothing crazy, but you know, better than nothing. So I got quite the the chill setup here. Let's get stone darts too. Uh, I got my wireless keyboard and mouse, and I'm on a couch with a 65 inch 4K TV, and I just totally reclined, you know, working on the dad bod. Oh, that hurt. There was a bag there. Nice. What if we can find a better two-hand weapon? Ooh, these uh, summons are good. Uh, they're worth um, 4,000 pearls and only 50 burden. This is a good two-hand, but I believe it only hits one person at a time. Let's give it a whirl. Use it for this big guy. Oh, I'm missing. Let's see if I can raise that skill up a bit. That's what we're looking for his head. Ooh, that's actually a decent wand. Let's get rid of this thing. Can we use it? Nice. Alright, let's head back to Lifestone and cash it in.